guys, this is Winnie from 90 brake horsepower and uh, I'm now in Sydney. This is the bike I have rent, 850 GS. The reason why I'm speaking English is because I have two colleagues from Japan. They don't speak Chinese, obviously, and I don't speak Japanese. So. I have to apologize that the, this part we did in uh, Wollongong it was a disaster. But the voice recording because there's too much noise from the wind. So I have to do it again when I'm back to China. This is my hometown. I'm in Shanghai. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a F850GS next to me. It is because it is not available yet in China even though uh, the engine is made by Chinese manufacturer so uh, this is also the reason why I rent this bike in uh, Australia because I want to try this new bike it's always a good thing to be one of the first guys to ride a new bike and also I want to see if the engine meets the standard the Chinese manufacture the engine meets the standard of the global level so uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the engine because it's a uh, 270 degree uh, parallel twin and it's uh, I think it's very talky I like the the bike you can start easily with the second gear and uh, I never ever saw this bike when I did this trip so it's a good thing I like it and uh, what I I'm not 100% uh, satisfied is the power I mean the, the power is uh, enough more than enough I would say but it's just not so exciting um, even though I'm uh, not a performance guy but I still think when some there's some time you need some you know adrenaline from the engine but it's not going to provide you this I don't like this part of the engine and uh, uh, what is good is they, they fit it we fit this engine with a quick shifter auto blipper so both up and down you don't need to use the clutch um, I think it's good but it's a little bit too heavy to use uh, I think it's not as good as the MV Agusta's uh, quick shifter Apart from the engine, I think uh, the chassis is too soft, but I mean the suspension. The suspension is too damn soft, but it's very comfortable during the trip, especially when we rode the bike uh, in Australia because there's not too much curvy, curvy low roads, so it's good. And uh, the brake is not as good as uh, my impression about the BMW it's not uh, linked front and back and the uh, uh, caliper is not radio mounted it's Brembo but not radio mounted so with the uh, heavy load it's, it's like uh, 230 kilogram uh, so and also me I'm a quite a heavy guy and also some luggage I think with the caliper is not as good as I think so it's uh, 
down part and uh, there's also two things I don't like first is the windscreen uh, the, the bike I get is it comes with a low screen windscreen so it's not to protect me very well from the wind and the second thing is the kickstand I think the kickstand is too long so when you parking on the un uneven roads it will be very risky and uh, you know the bike is heavy and especially with luggage in the back so it's very hard to uh, use the central stand so I think BMW should consider about this or even in the future the owner should uh, be careful about this um, this is my warning from <laughs> the warning from me and I paid the 700 uh, Aussie for this damage for this uh, mistake so uh, hurt me a lot <laughs> and uh, I think I don't I don't want to buy it when even though when it is available in China because um, I think it's a little bit too heavy I think uh, it's not as powerful as, as I want it so uh, combine these two things I think it's a good bike for trip for traveling even for commute uh, also um, I think it has a good build quality but still I think I even though I'm not a performance guy I still want it to be more uh, a little bit more that's why we ride a motorcycle if it's all about comfort I think uh, you can go with a car it will be much easier to be more comfortable so uh, that's it so that's the impression for me about the BMW F850 GS still it's a good bike uh, why uh, you are a motorcyclist I mean uh, you don't uh, ride the motorcycle when the weather is cold mm -hmm. and uh, you don't like when the weather is hot mm -hmm. and you don't like uh, riding in the night okay. and uh, you don't want it to be raining yeah. and uh, it costs um, like a three or four times okay. uh, expensive than uh, rent a car but why are you still riding a motorcycle? Yeah, yeah. This is it's Korea so due to uh, motorcycle is good communication tool so no any language needed for speaking Chinese, Japanese, English uh. <laughs> only riding motorcycle it's communication so that's it ah <laughs> wow that is yeah no barriers there's no barriers no barriers yes only the communication yes yes with the, the machine yeah, yeah. You know, for me, I am not a performance guy for sure. Um, I think the 850 has a little bit of adrenaline, but oh. not, not much. But I still enjoy it. it it's especially the views here, in, incredible. There's ocean, beach, mountain, yeah. wildlife, mm -hmm. right? Farm and the sunshine. It's uh, amazing, amazing, uh, amazing place. Yeah, I like it. Nice view. Okay, I think this episode of When is Vlog is coming to the end. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, signing off in the Jarvis Bay, which is in the Australia. So I'm suggesting that anyone wants to come to Australia should ride a motorcycle. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah.